Hi, my name is Amber Hawthorne, and for my project, I'm doing cystic fibrosis. So before we start, I'm just going to do a quick review of what we already know. We know that DNA is an instruction manual that all living things have in the nucleus of their cells. So basically, the DNA just stores all the genetic information that is then passed on. DNA is made from monomers called nucleotides, which are assembled and then connected together. The structure of DNA is a double helix, and it looks like a twisted ladder, kind of. The phosphate group and the deoxyribose sugar, they're both the sides of the ladder, while the neutrogenous base is in the middle. DNA replication is when DNA is making a copy of itself in S phase prior to mitosis. Since DNA is double-stranded, the helicase enzyme can come and cut the DNA in half. Then the two new strands are formed off of the original parent strands. Segments of DNA make up a gene, and then the genes are then stored on chromosomes. Proteins are made from their monomer of amino acids, and then they have different tasks. They can either build something structural, or they can be enzymes that control chemical reactions in the body. A segment of DNA that codes for a sequence of amino acids is a gene, and one gene codes for one protein. First, the DNA is transcripted into mRNA and then sent to the cytoplasm of a ribosome. Then it goes through translation. So basically, a codon, which is a three-letter group, it makes an amino acid, and a group of these amino acids can then make a protein. So going on to cystic fibrosis, what it is is it's a genetic disorder that affects the lungs and the digestive system. It causes kids who have it to be more vulnerable to lung diseases. And it also causes a thick and sticky mucus to form in the lungs. And when it catches the bacteria, it is very likely to cause bacterial infections, and it makes it hard to breathe. The reason for cystic fibrosis is mutations in the CFTR gene. And the CFTR gene, it's what provides instructions for making a channel that transports negatively charged particles, which are chloride ions, in and out of the cell. This helps control the water movement in tissues, which is needed to make a thin, freely flowing coat of mucus. If someone has cystic fibrosis, then this means that the mutation in the CFTR gene disrupts the chlorine channels, and then it prevents the thin line of mucus to form. But instead of making a, th instead it makes a thick and sticky mucus that blocks airways, and it also blocks the glands. CFTR is a gene on chromosome 7. The mutation that causes cystic fibrosis is usually changing an amino acid or it's deleting a small amount of DNA. But the most common is a single amino acid is being deleted in the sequence when making RNA. This mutation is deleting phenylalanine, which is CTT, in the sequence. Normally, the symptoms of babies with cystic fibrosis are that they don't gain weight and because they can't eat. So the proteins and fats that they usually get from foods can't be absorbed into the pancreas. Because it also affects the epithelial cells in the sweat glands, children will be really salty from sweating a lot. Nasal congestion, sinus problems, wheezing, and asthma-like symptoms are another thing that kids might show. Chronic coughing and chronic infections are also very common. Kids who have cystic fibrosis have to go through special therapy with a special diet. Another thing that, unlike other kids, they're always sick and have a hard time breathing. And this prevents them from doing things that normal kids usually do, such as sports. Um, cystic fibrosis is inherited as a recessive trait. If both parents are carriers for it, then and the child inherits both of these genes, then they will have cystic fibrosis. The lifespan of a person with cystic fibrosis is much shorter than the life of a normal person. About 30,000 children and young adults in the United States have this disorder. About 485 people each year die from cystic fibrosis. To treat kids with this disease, they have to go through nutritional therapy. But there also are many treatments now that are being researched. One is a spray that contains normal copies of the CF gene. This is called gene therapy. But another one that is being researched is called protein repair therapy. This aims to repair the CFTR gene. And there are also many other treatments that are being researched. So far, there isn't really a solution to cystic fibrosis, but there are many things that can lengthen a child's life. So as we can see, this is a very serious disorder. Thank you for listening.